Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Although Kane Dingle is no stranger to adultery, is it possible that his liaison with Ella Forster in Emmerdale would give his wife, Mora, a taste of her own medicine? In recent scenes from the ITV soap opera, tensions have turned Butler's farm upside down, and Mora is determined to keep her son, Maddie, safe. While Kane was determined to keep his family together, the farmer has lost sight of her connection to the Dingle clan as a result of her nephew Samson's cunning tactics, which ultimately resulted in Maddie being sent directly to prison. This Tuesday presented another challenge for the newlyweds as the Dingle family was still in shock over Samson's incarceration and Kane continued to believe Mora had turned his nephew into the authorities. Despite Mora's wish that Kane would be a better role model for his steps in Maddie, the two, who are renowned for having short few spans, had been bickering for weeks. Viewers are on edge due to Mora's abrupt and erratic behavior because most of them have grown tired of the beloved soap opera. But as the two became a little closer over the past several weeks, they said Ella Forster might be Kane's ideal companion. When it came out that Ella had slain her childhood best friend, Liam Cavanay was horrified and dumped her. Kane attempted to play devil's advocate, pointing out that his own son Kyle had also killed someone when he was a youngster. After learning Ella's secret, Liam attempted to force her out of the Dales. However, Kane persuaded her that she belonged in the community named after it, and he even assisted her in locating a bed and breakfast. Viewers may conclude that another affair is about to happen quickly after Kane consult Ella after her quiet loss, often known as an embryonic pregnancy. My spider senses indicate that Ella and Kane have chemistry. What's your opinion? A viewer asked on X, also referred to as Twitter, is Mora becoming a psycho abuser like Tom? Asked another, Ella and Kane are off. It's possible that Ella will return and have an affair with Kane now that he's going to be having problems with Mora. A third person stated, while a fourth said, Kane should break up with Mora and start dating Ella. Following another argument between Kane and Mora on Tuesday, a suggestion surfaced, leading some fans to believe she would be in for a medical trauma, especially because it appeared she had forgotten her previous murder of Emma Barton and had instead placed the responsibility on one of her sons. Mora is acting strangely, and I'm beginning to believe that she may be sick or something. A viewer of the soap opera remarked, has she forgotten she pushed Emma off a bridge to her death? Could Mora have early onset dementia or a brain tumor with her forgetting things? Another person replied, will it become apparent that Mora has a medical issue? Another wrote, sometimes she just acts strange, like she's forgetful, like she didn't remember. Throwing the glass at Kane, Mora is having health problems, possibly menopause. Another person stated, she blows hot and cold, mostly hot, and is always snappy. According to a social media user, Mora might experience menopause, just like the legendary soap opera Bernice Blackstock did before her. Is hashtag immortal following hashtag Mora's path to menopause? Is that the sole explanation for her fury and shift in personality? Samson was arrested and sentenced to four years in jail after it was revealed that Noah Dingle had given him over to the police when his girlfriend, Amelia Spencer, noticed he had phoned the police on his most recent call record. Because of her recent outbursts, Maura Dingle has caused anxiety among Emmerdale fans who believe she may have a hidden medical problem. Ever since Samson wrongly brought her son, Maddie Barton, to prison, she and her husband, Kane Dingle, have been at odds. However, Mora couldn't contain her joy when Samson was taken into custody this week after attacking Jacob Cope. A smile spread across Mora's face as the teen's parents, Sam and Lydia, watched in horror as their son was let out of the woolpack wearing handcuffs.
This made Kane wonder if his wife had anything to do with the arrest of his nephew, Samson. As his wife adamantly denied calling the police, Kane questioned her at home regarding her response to the arrest. However, she didn't take long to launch a glad into a wall and across the kitchen. Tuesday, Mora raised further tension despite Kane's request to forget their previous night's argument. She said they should throw away the key, in reference to Samson's prison term before asserting that he exacerbated the issue by attempting to prepare Samson for prison. Kane said, now this is all my fault, to which Mora responded cynically, saying that her husband had made Samson into another thud, which their family didn't need. When Mora ordered Maddie to man up during Wednesday's episode, her attitude worsened since Maddie is still having a hard time adjusting to life after being in prison. As their relationship remained tight, Maddie accused his mother of lacking empathy. However, some viewers claim Mora is having wild outbursts because she is fighting a secret health issue. Mora's been really horrible to Kane. Do you think she may have an illness? A viewer asked on social media. Oh, definitely. She went like this before, repeated a second person. Yep, there's definitely something strange going on, said a third. I believe there is a problem, possibly bipolar disorder. One fan predicted that it was because of the way she answered, what? When Kane asked, is it safe or are you going to throw a glass at me again? That she didn't seem to remember it. Maybe heading for a breakdown, remarked one fan, while another merely commented, menopause. In Emmerdale, Kim Tate and Will Taylor's marriage isn't doing too well. Rose Jackson vanished last week after Kim and Will learned of her and Ruby Fox Milligan's theme to destroy them and home farm. Rose asked where she would want to be dropped off, at an airport or train station, for example, after Kim had instructed her to pack her things. Kim took this a little too literally and left Rose at the side of a rural road when she didn't reply. When we went back there before the show concluded, Rose was gone, but Rose's possessions were all over the place. After being picked up by a car from Home Farm Estate, she vanished from our sight. We've been made to believe that one of Kim and Will was the reason behind Rose's absence because they both returned to Home Farm a short while later carrying a set of keys. The issue though, their relationship is now suffering greatly as a result of their mutual lack of honesty. Will very almost revealed to Kim in tonight's episode that he had kissed Rose before. He was terrified of losing her and what she would do to him. But his fear overcame him and he chose to tell Kim again how much he loved her. In addition to coping with Rose's disappearance, Kim is also attempting to come to terms with Will's denial of her when Don accused her of adulterating her drink. Kim declared she was going on a business trip to Dubai because she needed space. Will sought advice from his spouse on how to mend their relationship, but Kim wasn't sure if it was still worth mending. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.